All right, folks. He's looking at the catcher. Doesn't like the signals he's getting. All right, now he's got his he's got his pitch. Here's the windup. Oh, welcome to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Goofy time. Enjoying this night that I'm going to enjoy this beer. Smashing this beer. It's going to be great. Uh, smashing all the pitches that the Colorado Rockies pitchers throw in the air because no one wants to come to Colorado to uh, pitch. Uh, that's our problem. Uh, that's why I live in L.A. and I tend to be more of a Dodgers fan because we get more done. But 1A, 1B. Well, you know, it is what it is. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you're having a wonderful night, evening, day, morning afternoon, whatever you have you, uh, let's drink a beer, pull up a chair, get a beer, um, join me, pause it. All right, now on pause. Uh, this beer in front of me, thanks to my buddy Pete, who brought a bunch of beers during his 75 hard training program that he wasn't going to drink. Uh, appreciate you. This is uh, from Westbound and Down out of either Idaho Springs or Lafayette, Colorado, because on the can it says... Westbound and down Lafayette, this beer is proudly proved by, and it says Lafayette. But on on tap, it says Idaho Springs, which I've had some of their stouts in the past, and I thought they were Idaho Springs. So if you would like to clarify uh, Westbound and down, please let me know. Uh, Idaho Springs or Lafayette, which one is more common? Anyway, uh, Westbound and down, double juice caboose uh, out of Colorado, 8.7 on the Richter. Yeah, you see, you see that? You see that? Tap in. Got to tighten that up a little bit. Sheesh. All right. Um, an imperial version of the original juice caboose. We needed an extra caboose for all the flavors and aromas of pineapple, ripe mango, melon, and sweet citrus. Now I looked this up. Um, juice caboose has had copious amounts of Idaho Seven Mosaic and Strata. Um, you know, yeah, there you go. So, people seem to like that one a little bit. Uh, definitely like this one more, uh, being the original Juice Caboose was, uh, what? Seven, seven Deuce, 7.2 on the Richter. And this one, the Double double Juice Caboose is 8.7 on the Richter. All right. Anyway, um... I'm going to see what we get. Idaho 7, Mosaic, and Strata, if that's still in there. Um, Imperial version. So, again, let me know in the comments if you've had this, what you're drinking, what the hell you're doing tonight, what you're watching. I just thought of another movie uh, coming up towards Christmas. Uh, why Him, James Franco, um, Brian Cranston, Zoe Deutsch. Great movie. Check it out. One of my all-time Christmas movies, even though it's literally like not even like seven years old or something like that. Anyway, let's get to the beer. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's get to the aroma check. Right now, clean. Nothing, no huge aroma right off the bat. Maybe a little, like, creamy, like, orange Julius. I'm going to go with creamy orange Julius. All right. So, and, you know, you're supposed to get... Uh, Pineapple, ripe mango, melon, and sweet citrus. We'll see. All right. Get your glass. No words. Only emotions. Cheers. Skull. Salud. Let's drink. Hail, hail Colorado. Let's go. Kind of get like a dirty pineapple. A boozy, hoppy pineapple. Meets a little bit of a... Maybe like kind of a sweet melon. Very nice so far. By the way, so far, 1,200 people from this Lafayette, uh, Idaho Springs Brewery, uh, Double Juice Caboose, 1,200 people have given this a 4.2 out of 5. Uh, pretty, pretty reasonable. Um, so far, thinking uh, they, they know what they're talking about. Ripe. 
right off would have guessed like eight flat, nothing more than that. So it is, this one is probably about four months in the can. So not totally fresh, but and that maybe that's why it's mellowed out a little bit. Still has a little bit of the uh, grassy uh, pepper from the original, uh, you know, heyday of its freshness, but um, maybe even, yeah, a little pink grapefruit you're supposed to get from Idaho 7. Idaho 7, Idaho Springs. <laughs> I don't know if that's a coincidence. It's not. Uh, you're supposed to get mango and pink grapefruit from Idaho 7. Um, but yeah, definitely getting like a little grapefruit, orange Julius, some oats, some green hops. Again, 8% feels like mouthfeel. I'm going to say... 50%, very medium mouthfeel. Um, yeah, give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if there's any other notes people have. So far, so good. Creamy, all the things I've said. So hopefully you've been taking note. Uh, how's your drink doing? I'm about halfway full, halfway down. However the uh, positive attitude is, I'm halfway full, halfway down. You know what I'm talking about. Hold on one sec. All right. Let's get it done. Double juice caboose uh, out of either Lafayette or Idaho Springs. Uh, it's going down very nice. Get kind of like a candy like orange on that sniff. Um, I'm telling you, very orange Julius like. Yeah, sniff is very orange Julius like. If you've had an orange Julius, you know what I'm talking about. Then just adds a little layer of hops and uh, pineapple with a medium mouthfeel. Uh, well, let's get to it. I had one comment. Uh, someone who had had the orig original juice caboose side by side, apparently. Hazy with lots of citrus and melon hop character. Strangely seems a bit more bitter than the regular version, but good balance. Medium bodied and fairly smooth. They gave it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Totally terrible to yawn right now. Uh, they give it a 4.5 out of 5. That basically signals to me that's pushing on the door of an absolute A+. Plus. Uh, I'm going to give this one last uh, you know, sip and then pound, and then we're going to see how it is. So, again, I'd love to hear what the hell you're up to, what you've had. If you've had this, uh, if you've had anything else by them, if you're in Colorado, if you're in California, Texas, Louisiana, where my man Ronald lives, uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's get it. I just get a creamy orange Julius, maybe even like a little hoppy vanilla note. All right, no words, just emotions. Like and subscribe. Ding ding, help me out, help me out. I'm trying to grow. All right, just joking. But seriously. All right, let's go. Doesn't it look delicious when it goes down, folks? All right. I don't know how my throat looks when I'm taking down, but hopefully it's good. Uh, yeah, it does have kind of like a little like subtle vanilla powder sweetness to go along with the uh, orange Julius kind of feel to it. Green hops. Maybe a little, there you go, wheat and uh, oats, obviously, because it's a New England. Um, all right, liking it. Stellar down to hell no. That'd be from a 100 down to a zero. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a solid, it's a solid. Rolling into to Thanksgiving season. Uh, again, let me know where, where y'all are traveling for Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, if you're buying these special beers for Thanksgiving, I know I usually do. I usually get, like, 
you know, I remember getting uh, 17% uh, what was it, dogfish head, uh, wake, wake up or something like that, 17% stout. So we'll see what we get this time. Um, just let me know what's going on with you, what beer you're drinking. This one gets an absolute, like, nine, perfect, nine, nine, or uh, I almost said 1995, 95, a, a beer, it's solid. Um, so I got to say, go Golden Demons, Golden High School, love them, the Joker, Still killing it. We might literally just go for five championships. Joking. We're just hoping to go back to back. Um, so I got, if you can still find this beer. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let me see if it's still available. All right. Uh, doesn't look like this is available now. I'm sure they'll bring it back at some point. Juice Caboose is available. Westbound IPA. Colorado Pale Ale. Westbound Italian Pills. Don't hassle the hef. And I'm sure they've got special bottles there. So go visit them in Lafayette or Idaho Springs. Like and subscribe, Bruce and Beck, my channel. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed your beer. I sure as hell did. Uh, let me know what you drank. Uh, good talk. See you out there. See you tomorrow. All right. Peace.